In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be his Mother Virgin Mary, our beloved Mother too. Dear brothers and sisters, it seems as if there are some conditions necessary so as to receive easily the Holy Spirit. In the Acts of the Apostles we are reading about the Word of God, which is attracting, so to say, the Word of the Holy Spirit. And she is saying, in other words, the same thing. He is saying, and if you love me, you will keep my commandments. You respect, in other words, what I am saying and you try to put into practice. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be always with you. The Spirit of Truth, which the world cannot, cannot accept because it neither sees or knows it. But you know it because it remains with you and will be in you. Dear brothers and sisters, if the Word of God is living in us, the Word of Truth, the Word of Life, which is Jesus also himself, the Holy Spirit is um, irresistibly attracted to our hearts and he wants to dwell in us. He wants to explain the Scriptures to us. He wants us to live in the commandments of God and he wants to lead us so, as that, so that we may have life and life in plenty so that we are able to live the commandments and also to love one another which is the great commandment to love God and to love one another. May the Word of God dwell in plant in us. May the Holy Spirit anoint us anew and give us the assurance that we are beloved children of God in the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. A blessed day to each one of us.